I'm super excited to bring my first booty challenge to you. So today, I'm gonna to do the exercises with you. There's six exercises that we're gonna to do together. You're gonna to do 10 reps of each, and um, some you're gonna switch sides, some you'll just be done. Um, the nice thing is, is I'm showing you this in my living room, so you can see that it's an at-home workout. So this workout would look a little different to challenge your booty and make it grow and tone and lift and be a little bit firmer and stronger if we were in a gym. So I chose these exercises and I researched and I interviewed different trainers and looked at what's worked um, in my business and so I put together six that are at home. So it will look different if it was in the gym. So this is something you can do at home. But you do need two toys. You need a double loop, which the link that I provided in the blog on Amazon is now already sold out, but you can uh, look at that link and get it through other sources, whether it's at a sporting goods store by you or online. And you do need a set of dumbbells, so preferably heavy ones since you're going to only be doing 10 reps, which isn't that much. So it should be challenging by the time you're doing 8, 9, and 10. But you're going to do 6 exercises and then you're going to repeat it 2 to 3 times, 3 times a week. You're also going to need uh, a bench, I have this ottoman here, you can do a chair, you can use your couch, you can use your bed. So it's, um, you, you don't need a lot of toys or a lot of space. So we're going to get started. The important thing is, is that you're hydrated, so make sure you have your water. And make sure you're warmed up before you came. So some people like to march in place, some people do knee lifts. When your arms are above your heart, the higher the heart rate gets, when your arms are above your heart, you can do your stairs at your house, go up and down your stairs, walk them three to five times, but just make sure that your body is warmed up. And so the first exercise that we are going to do is a single leg deadlift. So I want you to get a heavy dumbbell, um, or you could use your detergent, get your big detergent out, your laundry detergent, or something that's pretty heavy that you could use. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna stand on one leg, abs are in tight, and you're gonna hinge at your hips and come forward and you're gonna pull up. So when you're pulling up, it's all, you're pulling from your butt and you're pulling from your hamstring. So your knees bent, you're breathing. So this is a huge balance challenge as well. This is great for the core, my ankle stability, and it's not about pulling from the back. So that's what a lot of people will start to do is pull from the back. So make sure your shoulders, whoo, see, balance. Shoulders are back, chest is out, you're breathing, abs are in tight, and you're really pulling from your butt and hammy. This is a great exercise for that booty. Make sure you're breathing. Again, take your time. This is a tricky one. Pull from your butt and hammy. So you're gonna feel your feet work as well. We're gonna switch sides. So again, disclaimer here, um, being that I am a trainer, <laughs> we don't always do a very good job at counting. So math hasn't always been my strongest point. I'm just putting it out there. So uh, if I do a few extras, it's not gonna kill you. If I am short the 10, I wanna just, you make sure that you're counting and getting 10 in on each side. So you're breathing, you're going slow, controlled. Each side's totally different for most of us. So for me, the side is harder for me because I've sprained it a few times. So my ankle, strength can be a bit of a challenge, but it's getting stronger and it's better. So all positive words. So breathe, you're pulling from your butt and hammy. Again, looks like this, chest, woo, see? I don't wanna keep that back there. Good, so pull from your butt, pull from your hammy. I really am struggling today. Hopefully you're doing better than I am. Breathe, good, chest out. Pull from your butt, pull from your hamstring, one more. Oh, good. Nice job. Get water if you need it. Next exercise, number two, foot elevated. So you're going to be on the floor. Your feet are elevated. Single leg hip thrust. So you're here. So you're going straight up and straight down. So you're working your butt. You're going to feel a lot of hamstrings as well. So it's just a different angle. We're working these, this backside. Now if this is too much for you, you can start here. You can always do two feet elevated. So listen to your body, start where you need to start. So any of these single leg thrusts we do, you can always do two legs. Make sure you're breathing, tucking your tailbone, abs are in. Good, we're gonna switch to the other side. Push straight up, straight down. 
Breathe. I know you're gonna feel your hands talking to you. That's okay. But remember, you're gonna do this two to three times, two to three times a week, preferably three times. And everything's in the blog. There's a calendar for you to print out. Good, two more. Breathe. One more. Nice job. How's those hamstrings feeling? <sighs> Burning, I hope. All right, you're gonna grab your dumbbells. You're gonna notice your heart rate's gonna come up a little bit too on this, aren't you lucky? You're gonna do reverse lunges. So you're gonna stand tall, you're gonna step back, push forward, looks like this, like this. So I'm gonna just stay on the right side. There's lots of ways you can do this. You can alternate it, right and left, or you can just stay on the side and burn out one leg at a time. So shoulders down, chest lifted, abs are in tight, step straight back, push up. So you're gonna feel your quads, your inner thighs, your hamstring, but push through that booty. Make sure you're breathing. I can feel my heart rate coming up. Can you? You're looking good. Keep going. One more. Good. Now you're going to switch sides. So abs are tight. Step back here. So like I said before, you can alternate it if you'd rather. You can mix it up when you're doing it throughout the week. Just make sure your shoulders are down. So you're stepping back and tall. Breathing and squeezing. So everything's in the blog. There's a calendar. You can print it out, mark it up, share it on the Facebook group. So make sure you join the Booty Challenge Facebook group. Three, two more. You're almost there. Nice job. Good. Get wider if you need it. Now, shoulder elevated. So this is where the booty really kicks in here, is when your shoulders are elevated. And it doesn't matter how high it is. So if you're on a chair or a couch or your bed, that's great. Some people like their hands here, some like them here. Just make sure it's like, like right under your armpit, shoulder blade area, bra strap area. So we're gonna do one leg. So you're here, I like them here. Down, push up. So make sure you don't hyperextend. So you wanna tuck your tailbone, really squeeze your butt cheek. You might feel your quads, your inner thighs. Breathe, really focusing on that booty. So the booty's really important. It's not because it's a fad right now and having a firm, big tush is in right now. I want you to have a more tone lifted booty. One more, good, switch sides. Or again here, you're here. So if one leg is a challenge or too challenging, you're here. But again, make sure you tuck your tailbone, squeeze your butt. Come down, come down where you're comfortable. Down and squeeze, abs are in. Tuck your tail and squeeze your booty. Breathe. It's when our butt is strong, we have less lower back issues. We have less knee issues. And I'm sorry, including myself, most of us do not have a strong backside. So this is really good for all of us. So I hope you take the challenge. Breathe. Two more. Squeeze. One more. Nice job. Can get water whenever you're thirsty. I'm gonna grab those dumbbells, we're gonna keep those heart rates kind of up. You're gonna do alternating lunges. So these are a little bit different than regular lunges that we'll do. You're gonna come down to your calves and push back. So round your back, come down to your calves and push back. So your back leg is straight. So when you do your alternating lunges this way, there is less pressure on your knees, which is awesome, and it's more booty. So it's a double whammy. So you're coming down and you're pushing back. Again, I want to have your dumbbells. I grab 10 just to do this, but I would be using a lot heavier just to make it challenging. Again, by the eighth and 10th rep, you should be feeling the burn. Breathe and push back. So come down, really push with your heel. Make sure your abs are in tight. Squeeze your butt cheek. Breathe, nice job down and push back. So as you can see, you don't need a lot of space. Heart rates are up. Hopefully you're feeling your backside and you're feeling your legs. It's just not a butt workout. It's also those legs. One more each side. Breathe. Nice job, nice job. Last thing, your double loop. And you can use this for a lot of things than just this, so don't worry, this $8 toy isn't going to go to waste. We can use it for tons of body parts and tons of workouts. 
Whoops, let me shoot in the head. So you're gonna double up your band. So if this band is too much for you, just put one band in. So you can start with one. So if you have two feet up, then maybe you just wanna do one band. So you're gonna do monsters. So you're gonna stand nice and tall, push your knees out. You're just gonna do a monster walk. Forward for four, tuck your tailbone abs in, and then four to the side. And then you're just gonna do four back. So you're tucking your tailbone, your abs are in tight, and you're pressing out. So you're really gonna to start to feel hips, which is gonna strengthen the lungs big time, and booty, and abs. So when you tuck your tailbone, you really have to use that ab, those abs a little bit more, the core and the butt. Remember, this is all core work here. When you're working your stomach, your lower back, your booty, that's core. Breathe, nice job. So remember, we want you to do what you can. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do three squares. So we should be on our last square here. Which I think I kind of grinned on that one. So hopefully you're feeling a little burn right now. Whether you're doing a single loop or a double loop on this. You can always work your way up to the double loop, so no worries. This is just to get you started. Nice job. So that was three. So those were your six exercises. You're gonna repeat this video two more times now. And I want to do a little disclaimer. We all build muscle differently. We all have different genetics. Some of us can build muscle quicker than others. 30 days isn't really truly enough to get you a nice firm tush. You probably need two to three months, so keep it up. But this is a good way to start. If you want to take part of the challenge, great. If you want to take before and after pictures, great. But you don't have to. This is all about you being a better you. And remember, progress, not perfection. So enjoy the challenge. Have fun with it. Get your friends involved with it. Challenge your family, your coworkers. Hashtag Allie's Booty Challenge and join the challenge. Have a great day and shine on.